So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because it's greater than four lines long. So all I do with translate word problem questions is to, you know, st you know, give myself a, a pause of a second or two between each sentence to make sure I understood what I just read, and then definitely write down any quantitative information that I read um, along with any relevant labeling to that quantitative information so that I don't have to go back and reread the question in order to find the answer. So the question says, Maria plans to rent a boat. Okay, understand what that means. The boat rental costs $60 per hour. Okay, so that's quantitative. So $60 per hour rental or rent. And she will also have to pay for a water safety course that costs $10, right? So $10 water safety. Maria wants to spend no more than $280 for the rental and the course. Okay, so rent plus course should be less than or equal to $280. If the boat rental is available only for a whole number of hours, what is the maximum number of hours for which Maria can rent the boat? So we know the course is $10, right? So plus 10, less than or equal to 280, right? The rent we know is 60, but then that's going to be multiplied by a certain number of hours that she uses the boat for. I'll just call that number of hours. Let's call it H for hours, okay? So I can simplify this by subtracting 10 from both sides, and I'd end up with 60 H is less than or equal to 270. Now, if she can only rent it for a whole number of hours, I can divide both sides by 60. And again, I don't have a calculator at my disposal because this is the non-calculator section. So I'm just go over here and say, well, how many times is 60 going to 270? And I can, of course, do this mentally, but just showing you, right? So 60 into 270, well, that's gonna be four times because 60 times four is 240. Of course, there's a 30 remainder, which doesn't really matter because you can only rent the boat for uh, for a whole number of hours. So the maximum number of hours that she can rent the boat for is four hours, right? That definitely keeps her under her $280 max in terms of what she wants to pay out of pocket. So the number four, right, is the correct answer to this question.